Welcome back. Caregiving can be a full time job, but it's important to know you're not alone and there are resources in our community to help. The fast track program with the Council on Aging is one of those resources and we spoke with them to learn more. So when a person is in the hospital, there's a few things that happens. One of those things is to figure out what happens next, what happens at home, what kind of help do they need at home. And it can be as simple as them suddenly needing someone who uh, assists with their cleaning. It could be needing help with laundry. Leading up to my mom's hospital stay, our relationship has always been, we've been really close. Um, she's always been my best friend, my biggest fan, um, but she's always been super independent. And probably about a month or two before she had to go into the hospital, she hurt her back. So she was hospitalized um, very abruptly and it was very urgent. When we were talking to the COA about what we needed, my mom didn't think we really needed much help. And I say we, her and I, she thought I had everything covered. But the one thing she didn't realize is I needed help and I needed some support and the COA helped provide that. They were sort of uh, this breath of fresh air when I probably didn't realize that I was suffocating. I will say, I realized I knew I needed help when I started not being the best version of me. So um, I started missing meetings, having to reschedule things, not doing the work that I felt was, um, that was normal from me because I had to let things go. Um, as from a family perspective, I started forget forgetting to sign notes for my son and um, packing things in his lunch that he typically liked. So that's when I really needed, knew that I needed some kind of help. Um, so if they wouldn't have come along, I would have still been worrying that my mom didn't have the meals she needed, just basic nutrition. She's a diabetic. They took into consideration all of her medical needs. Um, so to relieve that burden and that stress and know that my mom was able to maintain her independence um, was a huge relief for me and I didn't have that peace of mind before they came along. We're not here to take away their independence. In fact, we're here to help them remain independent. That's one of the biggest things that sometimes they just need to know that. That takes the pressure off. And it may mean that temporarily someone else has to do those things that are just a little bit hard for you right now, but later you can get back to life. You can get back and doing those things that you actually love, you actually enjoy doing, or those things that you feel like are keeping you young and vibrant. You can't do everything. Um, you need help, you need people to be there for you and don't be afraid. And you know, some days you'll get it right, some days you'll get it wrong. Wave the white flag and the next day you get to start over. That's the great thing. So, and I think just being there and being present is half the battle. That, that's good to know. Now, for more information on the Council on Aging, visit their website at helpthenumber4seniors.org or give them a call 513-721-1025.